This might not be your lesson. But it's something that I've learned through the years. Why become a warfare to the men who took care of your welfare? You cannot unseat a principality that gave you a seat. You can never erase a man who raised you. You can never lie about men that laid their lives flat so you find a platform. You can never topple a man who topped you up and set you at the top. You cannot dishonor the men who made people honor you. You cannot bring embarrassment to the men who gave you endorsement. Listen to me. Never become a problem to the men who gave you an emblem. You cannot de-platform a man or a woman of God that gave you a platform. You might think you're succeeding, but it's a lie from the pits of hell. In most cases, fathers and mothers in the spirit, they may be the ones that wronged you. But remember the God who anointed David to kill Goliath could never allow him to kill Saul. The battle against your spiritual father and spiritual mother is a battle you can never win. The drunkenness of Noah is not a license to expose whatever you think is his nakedness. That would be wickedness and foolishness in the sight of God. For the man was naked in his own bedroom. The mistake of Moses in marrying an Ethiopian woman has not taken away from him the ability to make Miriam leprous. I'm not here to defend errors of spiritual fathers or spiritual mothers or mentors. I'm actually an advocate for correction. But allow their heavenly father to deal with them in his own way. And time, please listen to me, if they don't repent. The Bible says, who are you to condemn another man's servant before his master is tense or he falls? I say this because I've seen sons, daughters, fight their spiritual fathers and mothers on behalf of the heavenly father, only to be punished by the same heavenly father. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.